Disclaimer, some of these paints are a lot older than others, so I recently got this set way before I got these ones, but we're just going to test them out and see, in my opinion, which ones I like the most and the packaging and things like that. These are all similar prices, they were about 15 to 20 pounds, which is using my good brain, I got it totally wrong last time, is more dollars, not less dollars. So it will be about $25 to $35, I guess, for each of these. They're all from Amazon, but they go out of stock and they come back in and they're all different prices. Usually the Artex one is readily in stock most of the time. So anyway, um, this one is Ink Lab. This one is Artex and this one is Marie's paint, which is probably less common. It's probably the least common one you've seen. I got this one last a couple of weeks ago. This one a couple years ago or a year ago and this one a couple of years ago. So they're in order of like age. So let's just open them up. This one has like a chocolate lid, which I like to call it because it does look a bit like a chocolate bar. I like to refer to these as foods because I just think it's like satisfying, but yeah. Um, they've dried out, but we can reactivate them because they are gouache. And the beauty of gouache is that they should be able to reactivate. Um, but the bad thing about gouache is that they are not very light fast. So light fastness means like how long, if you put them down on the paper, how long they will survive on the page. Um, but usually, because I'm an artist who makes prints and things like that, they are good for me. And I really like using them because they're opaque, but then also you can use them as you use watercolours, so you can water them down with water. So I really like that. And here's the Artex ones, they've also dried out, but these are older and they have less in them. So you can see which ones I've probably reached for a bit more, which is these ones over these ones loads of water in them if anyone has any other tips for like reactivating these let me know and this one is the most recent one you probably saw the video last week if you're here now um this is the ink lab one with the like the honeycomb shape and this one comes with a palette this one comes with a palette as well but i don't know where i've put it but this one also came with paint brushes and it has a little stand for your paints this one's also cheaper than these ones but what I found when using them was that these were a little, like a tiny bit more oily. Like the consistency was a tiny bit more oily than these ones. These two are very similar, I have to say. But as you can see as well, I don't know if it's the packaging or what it is. If I've reached for this one more, but this one seems to be a little bit more dried out than this one. I don't know if that's a fair thing to say. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna like do some swatches, maybe do some painting and just so you guys can see which ones I prefer. Also, if you're on the realms of TikTok, you might have seen that I use this one, which is actually like a giant beast compared to these, but this is actually um, acrylics. So you can buy these, uh, they also come as a gouache. The white box is gouache, the black box is acrylic. So I often have people telling me that it's gouache and I'm like, no, I know what it is, it's acrylic. Um, and if you wanna see on TikTok, I am building up a giant paint mountain, which looks a little bit like this. So if you wanna follow that, I will leave my TikTok down below. But yeah, I'm not gonna be testing this one in comparison just because it's a different paint. But yeah, just so you know. So let's see how well this will mix after. Just adding some water, seems fairly good still. This needs a bit of stirring, this one. Uh, this one. See, this one is like still really gelatinous. <laughs> I think it needs more water actually even. But yeah, it's looking fine. It's still usable even though it's a few years old. Everyone always tells me, they watch these videos and they always say, oh, the problem is that they're not airtight and they won't, they'll dry out really quickly. And it's like, I don't know how many times I've said that they don't really do that, like unless the box is broken or something. These dry out just because of time. But as you can see, somebody said in the last video that this one would dry out and these are still really not dried out. Um, bear in mind that these are really old. So yeah, of course they're gonna dry out a little bit over time, but I, I don't think that's the packaging's fault. I think that's just the way 
of time. <laughs> I just have to repeat myself a lot and I know everyone's different and I'm not directing this at you, you're probably a very nice person whoever's watching this right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just do a little bit of a, a scrapey test. So you can see these are like, well I don't know if you can see but I'm just going to tell you. These are like a little bit more oily, a bit more watery um, than the other ones. And I think it is because they are slightly cheaper. They do have a different ingredient, I guess, in them. I don't know what the, the word would be. Um, I'm going to wipe this and then try this one. But yeah, these ones are very similar in consistency. I know for a fact that you can buy now a big version of these ones, which is quite nice because I really do like... I think it's really satisfying when you get a massive palette of paint. I don't know if it's necessary, it's not necessary because truly you only need the primary colours and you can mix any colour you want. Um, but having a massive palette of colours is, is, is nice, I think. <laughs> Talking about the packaging, all of these always come with those lids that you have to like rip off, which I always find infuriating, but, and also like a waste of plastic. Um, I guess we can't really harbour on that because if you need it, you need it, right? You can't really... It's not your fault if a company is using plastic, but... And I guess that I don't know if there's any other way for them to do it because, you know, I don't create these things, but... Uh, yeah, it would be nice if there was another way so we didn't use loads of, like, plastic. So here you can see this one is obviously a little bit more dry but it has a really like thicker consistency um, and that's not just because it's a bit drier because I know that when I used them originally they did have a thicker consistency than these ones but these are still nice like you can still get stuff done with these and lastly let's try the H the Artex ones which are very similar to the HIMI ones if you've seen those as well I think they're just um, similar packaging but different companies so they have a different um, makeup of the paints because they were slightly different when I originally tried them unfortunately I don't have the HIMI ones anymore because they ran out but I can tell you that they're very similar as well I'm spreading paint everywhere and that's going to annoy people but I don't care <laughs> Painting does be messy sometimes. Okay. I just dropped something as well. And it was a load of paint. Good. Great. Um, yeah, so this one is also like a thicker consistency than the oily one. I don't know why that's oily because it's gouache. It's like as if it's like an oil paint. It's not. So I don't know why. I don't know what goes into making paints, I guess, so I can't really comment. So this one is a little bit drier than that one, um, I think maybe they don't reactivate as easily as these ones, but also again, they are quite old, so I know that I really enjoyed using them at the time, I've enjoyed using all of these sets, I don't have a problem with any of them, to be fair, so it's a little bit difficult to compare when you don't have much of a bad thing to say, like I think this set is really good for its money, I think this set is really nice, I think this is like a really good quality of paint, I think this is really good for its money as well and really good quality paint, they last a long time as you can see, like I've had these ones for years and they're still usable so there's always perks to having paints that survive a long time so I don't know the light fastness of these paints particularly, I know that gouache doesn't have a very good wrap for light fastness but as I said I usually use gouache for prints and stuff and I do have a... Ooh. So here is a painting, sorry about the light, um, that I did literally three years ago. And as you can see, the colours are still quite vivid and it's all fine. So the light fastness isn't just extremely awful. I just think it won't last for like years and years and years. But this is one I did with the HMI um, jelly gouache paints. So you can see that's still fine. So yeah, I, I think they're relatively good. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is the size of these pots. I don't know how much of a difference that will make to your decision if you're going to make a decision of which ones to buy. These are 45. These are apparently 30 um, millilitres in there. 
and then these are apparently 30 but this looks like it's more in there than there is on that one but maybe they're the same maybe it's just an illusion but yeah it says 30 milliliters 30 milliliters and 45 so these ones are actually even bigger even though they're cheaper <laughs> i really like this design with the i do think these are like my new favorite i don't know um they are a bit oilier that's it that's all like a tiny bit so these are how they lay it down um this one is this one this one is this one and this one is this one this one came out a little bit thicker but that could just be the way that i lay it down let's just test the opacity of these paints just by like taking one color and going over the top so as you can see these ones are fairly opaque and then if you use a little bit of water you can use them kind of like watercolors where they're just mixable they also can reactivate once they're on the page um it doesn't really reactivate super well but it does reactivate so let's just do um some opacity tests and then we'll do the reactivation tests um let's try and get a similar color obviously this is a bit dried out so i'm just trying to work it so it's not so dry i'm just trying to get like a thick amount on my brush so that it's a fair test or as far as it can be i guess considering so what i can tell is that these ones are slightly more opaque than these ones just from that but let me mix up the paints a little bit more and then i think it'll be fairer okay i mixed up these paints a little bit more so to make a bit more of a fair test of the opacity so there you see like the opacity or the opaqueness rather of this is still really really good um it covers it up super smooth <laughs> so if you're like me and you make mistakes in your artwork like i do then it's good to know that you can just be like nope erase that mistake with some opaque paint and i think that's why i always really like wash because compared to watercolors it's more forgiving um yeah as you can see this one's also super opaque so they're all really nice consistency i would actually say excuse the train that this one even even though it's like the freshest set it's still weaker than these ones in regards to like opacity so that's something to think about also another thing that i want to mention is that this one comes with two whites and so does this one one is titanium one white and one is zinc white they're slightly different um depending how you use the one slightly cooler and I really like that because I feel like everyone uses a lot of white in their artwork. So I think that's a good thing to point out. Like if I could, I would have like five whites <laughs> uh, or like a massive pot of white would be really, really satisfying. Okay. And I'm just going to test the reactivationness of it. So gouache, you can reactivate it. Um, I'm putting water down here on this blue paint and you can see it's reactivating a lot um, which is nice because if you want to just like mess around push paint around a little bit more or even out some I don't know like textures or add a bit of color to the edge or you know it's just nice it's once you get used to it the feel of it it's a really nice thing to have um, sometimes you might be like oh no i've reactivated an area that i don't want but it just just let it dry and then go over the top and it's fine so this one reactivates really nicely on the paper it also depends on the paper of course like this this is a watercolor paper but it's not super toothy i think if it was toothier it probably would be reacting like differently um and this one is the artex one which is this one just keep reminding you guys in case you know you don't realize but yeah this one reactivates fine as well you can see here like i'm just pushing out where the textures are and just smoothing it out because you can probably just add like a bit of a, a gradient or a smoothness or i don't know it's up to you guys uh whatever you do with your art like if you like it so they all kind of reactivate nicely as well which is <laughs> making this decision hard because i do want it i wanted to come up with a decision of which one i like the most and um i think 
they're all really good like they're all a really good standard of paint i would say that probably the artex one is good probably the best for your budget um and the best quality for your budget this one is more expensive but it's the same kind of quality as the artex one it kind of depends what you would lean more towards. Um, I think probably these ones have survived a little nicer than the Artex ones, but these ones, maybe you'll go through them quicker. It depends how you use them. These ones are super nice. I like these. These are great. They come with paint brushes and they come with um, these little stands and a big palette, which is really nice as well. And it's making the decision hard, but these are slightly, slightly, slightly oilier, but they are the cheapest. So. I don't know, if you want a really cheap one that's a good set, this is great. If you want Old Faithful and a cheap set, this is good. And this one is really good as well. Just slightly more expensive, um, but stayed a little bit fresher than the Artex one for longer. So I guess I don't really have a decision for you guys. I'm really sorry. Um, I think the Artex is probably winning slightly, slightly on top, um, just because of its style and the paint formula is slightly nicer than this one and that is just by like a sliver so if you guys are not sure which one to decide on then just listen to what I said and see what works best for you and I hope that this video has been helpful for you I hope you enjoyed me comparing these paints because uh, people have been asking for this for a while, but yeah, here's the video and I uh, hope to see you guys next time Also, thank you to my patrons and everyone also go check out my TikTok. Don't forget if you want to see paint mountain I'm probably gonna slice into this bad boy soon, but we're going to 200 layers and this is only a hundred Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye